Hi guys, my name is Katie or KB Does Art, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to 3D model a, a wreath. We're going to, I think I'm going to start with a cylinder. And let's go into face mode, and I want you to grab every other face while holding shift or holding tab. Alright, perfect. And then you want to do control E to extrude and up that thickness. Then let's go into object mode and just click three to see how it's kind of shaping out. We can squish it down and make it a bit taller and longer and things like that, a little bigger. All right, and then I want to do click one again and let's do mesh smooth and give it two divisions to really smooth it out. Perfect. Okay, so this is basically going to be, you know how like each of these has a sort of little spike on it? Each branch has kind of spikes on it. That's what this is going to be. This is going to be the spikes. So in order to like duplicate that to make like a strand, um, I want to go into mash and create a mash network. Click on distribute and do just one and then turn down that distant X. So it's just this guy. Uh, let's see, in your outliner, click on mash. You want to click on mash one in your attribute editor and then click on the replicator node and add one. I'm going to make like maybe 20. And I don't want the offset to be on Z, so you can make that zero. I want it to go on the Y axis. So make this like 0.16 maybe. All right, seems like it needs to be a bit more. So maybe like 0.2. Maybe let's try one. Okay, so one's too much. So 0.5. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. So I don't know if you guys can kind of see what I'm trying to do here but I'm making like one of these um, pieces here, basically, like part of the stem. I think 20 is a little too much, so maybe I'll do 15. That looks better. And then you can also click on mash again to get back to this window and add a random node. You can make all these positions zero. Uh, really what I'm trying to do is change the rotation. Um, so you can see when you change the rotation, it'll falter a little bit like that. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, and then I want to change the replicator. I'm noticing 0.5 shows a little bit of a gap, so I'm just going to try 0.4, and that seems a little good. I'm going to do 0.4. Okay, that, that looks good. Okay, so basically this is now like a single object, um, or we could treat it as kind of a single object. And then what we're going to want to do is basically replicate this same thing. So there's a couple things I want to do first. I want to first delete the history of this object. Um, and then let's also, I want to save this scene. MASH can sometimes uh, crash your computer because you're doing a lot with it. So uh, you want to make sure to save pretty frequently on this one. I'll try and remind you to as well. Uh, okay, for this repro mesh, I want to rotate it 90 so it's sitting down like that. And then what I want to do is basically make kind of like a long ring of them. Um, they're going to eventually go in a sort of circle type of thing. So with this... Um, you can delete the other MASH network. We deleted the history, so we're not going to change anything. Um, but with this new repro mesh, uh, we can basically attach another MASH network to it. So now you can see it duplicating kind of like all over the place, um, which is totally fine. Um, what we should probably do next is we can add well we should first change the distribute so make this just one so we just have one make the distance zero and then you can add a replicator node and i guess let's just start with like 20 maybe um not on the z though let's make that zero uh i think we're going to be editing it on the x yeah basically Let's leave it like that for now. Um, what I want to try and do is using this curve node, 
um, and then we're going to attach a curve to it. So let's go to curves and surfaces and grab a NURBS uh, circle and then let's drag it on up like that. Let's save it at this moment. Uh, <laughs> that would be a good idea. And then with your curve, you want to middle click your circle and drag it on over. All right, we can see it is uh, almost getting there. Let's turn the step up and the animation speed down. And then let's go to Replicator and let's make it, make that offset zero. All right, there we go. So now it's attaching to it at least. So now you can see it is replicating like this, which is good. Um, what I would probably want to do is we want to add some sort of like random node. Um, and then you can see it's already starting to move. It's doing one on both the, the X, the Y, and the Z, which is good. Um, we can totally keep that. You can also make it a little bit more. I'm also just going to up the rotation on... Yeah, I'll do like a little bit on each just to make it a little bit like crazy. Um, but that's looking good. Uh, now the only thing I would probably want to do is just instead of 20, let's make this like 40. And then we can see it's starting to beef up a little bit, which is good. Um, if you edit the circle too, you can see it'll scrunch in. Uh, let's save again. That would be a good idea. Um, it's feeling pretty good. I'm going to just add, add the rotation a little bit more on it. Just like a tad on each. Good. And then you can even also up the scale. Uh, I would probably just do it on the Y maybe. That way it'll, I think though, if you do it on the Y, it'll just make them longer. Oh no, it goes the wrong direction. So that one's a little picky. Um, maybe Z would work better. But yeah, you're just kind of like messing around with some of these settings to kind of get the outcome that you're looking for. You can also um, mess around with the amount of replicants. Like if you think 30 is too much, you can go less than that and just do, um, you can just do 30. Um, also, if you like that mesh, you can duplicate that mesh um, and then like scale it down or like move it up if you want to have something like that. You could also rotate it to get some different like texture on it. Um, to make it a little bit more excessive or however you want to add in some more dimension to it. But that's kind of how I've been tackling making like that fun texture of Garland. Um, and then we get to add in all of the exciting parts. So I'm first just going to select all this and just delete all the history to it. Um, and then we can save it again after that's all done. Um, and then you should just be able, you can just delete the circle. Uh, you can also take these and do mesh um, combined to just make them one. Um, and then you can delete the history again, just so you have one more mesh. All right, so now we've just got our garland. Uh, we can assign a new material to that. Uh, probably make it green, like a garland. <laughs> make it that deep, fun green. All right, looks good. And then I'm just going to bring the roughness up on it since it shouldn't be reflective. Um, okay, cool. Looking good. Uh, let's see. Why don't we tackle some of those, um, ornaments? So I'm sure you guys can guess we're just going to basically do that with spheres. So grab a sphere and duplicate it. You can also rotate it 90 degrees, um, so that we see the correct side. Um, and then... I'm actually going to, let's go to the top view and let's do it from here. That way we can get the uh, correct uh, faces. Okay, that looks good there. I'm gonna duplicate that. And I'm just gonna be like duplicating and moving them and kind of just like pushing them where I think they should go. Uh, so you can decide if you want to skip through this part um, I'll show you guys how I'm texturing it when I get there. 
Um, but yeah, just feel free to go ahead, pause, add your ornaments, and then come on back when you're ready. All right, so as you can see, I've just added my ornaments in, and then I'm just going to go through and select uh, some of them and hold shift just to be selecting them like this. And then I'm going to texture some of them gold and some of them uh, like a silver. So just add a new material to that and make them like a silver, up the metalness, and then select the rest of them. And you can attach a gold color to that. So just assign a new material, AI standard surface, and then make this one gold and up the metalness. All right, you can click uh, seven and then go to Arnold and grab a sky dome light and you can see how those textures are, are turning out. Uh, in perspective view, we can go ahead and I'm gonna select these guys and kind of just move them basically to like clip the garland a little bit better because uh, they should not be floating. I'm sure as you guys know. <laughs> you just kind of want to clip them in a couple areas. Those are looking good. Okay, great. So now we've got um, that, and then we can go ahead and create a bow. So uh, let's just do this using a cube. Grab a cube and bring it on over here. I'm just gonna scale it on up, make it long, and make it a little bit shorter. And then really a bow is just, let's see, let's take these vertices here and just scale them in like that. And then let's go into edge mode and select these edges and bevel them. All right, that looks good. And then let's go ahead and duplicate this object and flip it uh, 180. Let's see, 180 on the Y axis, there we go. And then we can grab another rectangle, bring it on over here, bring it on up. And just gonna scale this one up to be that little mid piece here that connects them. There you go. And then um, you can, on the image I have, it does like a second layer of that. So you can just duplicate those, um, make it smaller, move it down scale it in and then push the pieces in and push that part in and then for the little pieces I'm just going to duplicate this cube and rotate it make it longer you can select these vertices on the end and scale them out like that Go into object mode and then move it. All right, so that looks like negative 24. So when you duplicate it, you just wanna take away that negative sign and push it on over like that. All right, and then let's select those objects and assign a red material to it. There we go. And uh, I'm going to up the roughness on that. All right. And then I want to make these guys not as long. There we go. And then we can make this one shorter too and push that in. And then push these guys in. I guess I have an extra. All right. So there's our bow. You can take those guys, select them all and group them, control G. And then let's go into our top view again. 
and we can position it to be in the center and then push it on down. We'll have to move Yeah, I guess I might, let's see. Maybe I'll put it like here and then push this guy over a little bit. And this guy. And then let's take that group and we can push it down a bit more. There we go. You don't want anything to clip through it, but you know. Okay, and then let's go to Arnold and then render and see how it's turning out. You can also save it, and you might wanna edit the red texture to up that roughness a bit. Ooh, okay, yeah, we need to move these two pieces up. There we go. Aw, it's looking so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna add in a plane for it to lay on and assign a new material to it. I usually give them the checkered texture. All right, but uh, that is about it for this tutorial. So if you guys liked it, um, I hope you did. I hope you had fun. Um, thanks for sticking through these tutorials. I'm having fun with them. So uh, let me know if you guys have any suggestions of what I should model uh, next. I would love to hear them. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial. So I hope to see your guys' creations. Um, I hope they come out really well. And I will see you guys next time for uh, our next tutorial. All right. Bye, guys.